Hey, Lewis here. Um, today I thought I would do a uh, tutorial on keybinds. Mainly because a lot of people don't use them, but they're very useful, so it would be good for most people to know how. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the keybinds that I use, and what keys should be used for what spells and abilities. Also, I thought I would state some of the advantages and disadvantages of keybinds, and why you should use them. Okay, so here in the picture you can see my keyboard. This is a, a normal Microsoft keyboard which I use for all my gaming. So it should be similar to most of the keyboards that you guys watching should have. But enough with the rambling, let's get on with the keybinds. So we're going to start with the four main buttons. W, A, S and D. These are the four main buttons on your keyboard and they should be used for movement primarily. If you've changed them then you're going to have some real trouble with setting up some decent keybinds. Next you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are probably the most common keybinds used in a keybind setup on World of Warcraft. But 6 is sometimes used as well. Depends how big your hand is. I personally don't use it because it's not very comfortable. Next up is letter keybinds. These consist of Q, E, F, C and V. These can vary quite a bit, but generally these are the ones that people like to use because they fit your hand nicely as you'll see in a minute. The next button I want to mention is Shift. Now this is a very special button as it allows keybinders to make combos with their keys, allowing them to more or less double the amount of keybinds they have on their keyboard. Now you're probably wondering why I've color coded all of the different keybinds. This is because not only is it more clear for you to see when I'm talking about them, it's also easier for me to show you how the keybinds work. Here you can see an overlay of my hand on the keyboard. You might notice that my hand perfectly covers all of the keybinds on the keyboard. That is the main reason that these particular keybinds were chosen for me. This factor is called suitability and it basically refers to whether or not the keybinds are suitable for your hand size. Another point I wanted to point out before implementing these keybinds was these two buttons Q and E. Now a lot of people tend to use these to strafe. Now this is running from left to right without turning. I myself have bound over these two keys because I tend to use the right mouse button held down along with A and D. Now it doesn't matter if you do use these keys because you can always find a couple of other keys on your keyboard to replace them. Just bear in mind these are two of the most comfortable keybinds on your keyboard. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to implement them. First of all you want to hit escape then go to keybinds. Then scroll down should come to action bar functions. Here you can see all of your binded keys for your main action bar, which you can see at the bottom of the screen showing all the corresponding buttons. If you scroll down a bit further, you can find multi-action bar bindings. Now these are the bindings for the bars you see above my main bar. If you don't know how to find these then I'm just going to show you in a minute. But obviously you can you can set keybinds for all of these if you can find enough keys and combinations to do so. So like I said now I'm going to show you how to get the action bars up. Okay, all you need to do is go to interface then on the bar go to action bars and there you have it there's, there's all the uh, action bars as you can see you can turn it on and off at your choosing and you can also lock them so I'll sh show you when when it's locked off you can drag them but when it's locked on you can't this is so if you click some of your icons like I do with my charge you can't accidentally drag them off your action bars right so another thing I wanted to go over was what spells suit which keybinds now obviously everyone has their own favorite spells and cycles so the position of various abilities will vary 
but basically the idea of this is to put your most used abilities on the most comfortable keybinds for you. See I find Shift 4, 4, 5 and Shift 5 really easy to use along with 3. So I decided to put my most used spells there, which is Overpower, Execute, Mortal Strike, Rend and Heroic Strike. Obviously on different classes this may vary, because you have different spells and abilities to put on your action bar. For instance, with a mage you may choose to put all of your instant cast spells on your easiest to press keybinds, and all of your spells with cast times on the harder to press ones, enabling your mind not to have to think too much about what you're pressing, because you'll be able to know if you're going to do damage quickly or not. Also another good tip is to have all of your shorter cooldowns on keybinds, but the harder keybinds. For, in for instance, I have my PvP trinket on Shift C. Obviously this isn't a very commonly used co key combination. So you'll find not only don't you press it by accident, you eventually get into the habit of knowing that if you're going to make an awkward strain then you're going to do something special. So where should and shouldn't you use keybinds? You should use keybinds because they make you much more efficient in PvP and in raiding. Often it's perceived that keybinds are only used for PvP but this is not the case as in PvE it can be very useful. However, one reason it shouldn't be used is for long cooldowns. All you're going to end up doing if you bind a long cooldown is accidentally press it when you don't need it and this can be very frustrating if you're in PvP or in PvE. Now other abilities like my charge for instance that you may only use twice in a battle there isn't much point in, in binding it so basically you leave it in an obvious place to be clicked. Other items like mounts and food shouldn't really be binded because you're, not, you're never in a rush to use them. That should be about it. Um, but before I finish my video I want to say that don't complain about keybinds being annoying and uncomfortable because once you get used to them you will really thank me for teaching you how however long that may be. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned a lot from this video.